guys. We are really very excited because today we have received a visit from a very special person, not just a friend, but also a very famous flight tire, Marty van den Brand. Marty is a, is a Dutch flight tire, very well known all around the world, especially for his use of the Camosho foot. So we want to take chance of having Marty here at 54 Day Street to let him tie a few of his famous flights that we will introduce you step by step. And for the occasion, Marty is going to use some of the tools and devices originally designed by a very special friend of Marty that was the late Ari Art. Ari was passing away this year. He's a very great loss for all the world of fly fishing. So it's really special and we are really honored that Marty is here with us today and that he will use this special tool in front of all of you. So just follow us. Are okay. you ready, Marty? Oh, yeah, I'm ready, ready for it. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's start the show. Do your magic. Okay, I'll do that. Thank Good. you. Hello, I'm Marty. Now I show you how to uh, create a very beautiful caddis. Uh, but first of all, I'll show you how to create Jeleski wings and another one is a natural wing. Okay guys, um, now I will demonstrate how you can create uh, a caddis wings, a cadding caddis wing, sorry, a caddis wing uh, with natural materials. So I had a long feather, I put off all, I ripped off all the fluffy and now I have the tippet and I start to create the, the wing. I, therefore I use Solaris Flex, a tiny tooth stick and the light. First of all, I put some, a few drops of Solaris Flex just over here. This is more than enough, only one droplet, that's enough. Now, you take the tooth stick and go firmly to the front. Something like that. Now all the fibers they are stick together now with the Solaris Flex. And now I start to harden out with the lamp. Only a few seconds, it's more than enough. And when it's hardened out, you can control if it's if it's sticky or not. So it is not sticky anymore. Now, how to create a wing like that? You fold it right in the middle of the stem, and then you take a scissor. and cut off diagonally, something like that. Now, you make a soft round corner. And now your wing is finished. This is for a real looking caddis wing. There is another possibility, and that is what I use uh, also lately. They, they are called the, the azure wings. So as you can see, I cut out one pair of azure wings. It is, uh, it is paired, the left and the right one. So now, what I'm doing now, I take one azure wing and I take the other one and then I put it together, something like that. So, now I have to glue it together because this wing will uh, directly uh, uh, fold and then it will stay perfect in shape. So what I do now is take a little tiny drop of soup on a tooth stick. This is fair enough. I put one wing up and give some super glue beneath. Then squeeze a little bit 
and then as your wing is almost done. Go to the other side, take a little bit of super glue, something like that, put it up, a little bit beneath, super glue, finished. Now, what I'm doing now to create the perfect shape, I use my uh, thumb and my uh, other finger to squeeze it down perfectly in the middle. Something like that. And now the edge of wing for the caddis or for the stonefly is perfectly formed. Okay guys, now I start to uh, create the caddis uh, fly with the Chileski wings. What I'm doing now, I have a long shank, uh, number eight, and I start to form the body. Put the tiny pet on, cut it off, make a loop, put some wax on it, because that's very important. And the wax has to be sticky enough. Now we take a bunch of the very, very fine, very thin commercial fibers. It has not to be too long, because when it is too long, the body will be too huge and too big. So I cut off something like this. But I use always the leftovers to create a dubbing. Make a loop. Go with the tiny thread just a little bit in front. Open the loop. Put the commercial inside. And then make a jig. Make it a little bit long. Twist around. Now, to form the body, actually, it's very easy. You, you take layer by layer, and when you go to the front, make sure that all the hairs, that all the fibers are going back. So now, as you can see, now you have a very beautiful rough body and that is very important because the buoyancy will be much higher when you have a rough body and of course it will give you a volume and the volume is very important to see in fast current waters that you can see your fly always. Now you put the Kaleshi wings on top of it and don't be afraid that it's a little bit too long. It, that is not important because now with tying thread I secure the wings, something like that. And now I and now I cut off the leftover of the edging. Can I still use? Now I start to create the antenna. And the antenna is also commercial, but those fibers, they are a little bit longer. Only a few, that's more than enough. It's fairly, just, you see? And don't think, oh, well, they have to be on the right position. No, that is not important. It is important that it is, that it's giving birth as a living creature, really. You have to believe me, something like that. You see? Those are the antennas. Now, the only thing what we have to do now for the, for the perfect caddis is to create the legs. And the legs, the, the, how I created, I, uh, I take a hair stacker 
I'm gonna take the very fine feathers, the very soft feathers of the Camacho, and then when I start to, uh, to, to stack, all the, the tippets will be at the same uh, level. So as you can see over here, this is, this is perfect to me. Without the bunch, lay it on the table, make a tiny loop, put some wax on it, create the loop. Now, what's very important is make one turn around the loop, otherwise the loop will stay open and all the uh, uh, fibers will fall off when you start to uh, twist. The only thing what you have to do now is make the length of the legs. This is too long, something like that. Now you cut off the leftover. Now you open the loop and put the legs into the loop. A little bit out. And now, as you can see, it is actually in the middle. Now you push with your, with your finger a little bit the fibers to the center. No problem. Now, you start to twist. You see, and that, th these are the legs. But when I start to, uh, to twist now, uh, to the hook eye, those legs are gonna be crazy. That's not perfect. So the only thing what I have to do is to squeeze and, 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 and perfectly go backwards. You see, and it's almost done. Now, a few turns. Cut it off. The only thing what you have to do now is uh, to make sure that you secure uh, the tying thread. Many people they they give an extra loop on it, but that is not necessary. Take take this uh, equipment and put it just right between the antenna. You know why? Because the antenna is going to be stand up a little bit, something like that. You see? So now you create a very good. Uh, efficiency uh, of fly that is that is perfectly in balance. Now you cut it off, and now the magic has to start already. It is not finished yet. The only thing what we need is a needle, a lighter, and now I show you how to give life on the caddis. Heat it up a little bit. Take the hairs and put them in front, as you can see. Now it's a real canvas. And now the buoyancy will go up 40%. And then also from beneath. And then just give it a light. That's it guys, that's the canvas.